Now, this kind of end-time understanding of the world is very common. This is a guy who calls himself Chase Jester. He seems to be a troll. His previous claim to fame, or one of them, is saying the Bible is the mark of the beast. Try and wrap your brain around that logic. He's saying the Bible, where he got the idea, in fact the quote of the mark of the beast, is in fact the mark of the beast. And yet he takes his doctrine from the Bible, which is, according to him, evil. Hypocrisy right there. Contradiction. Possibly a troll. But he does do what many Christians within certain extremes of end times and fundamentalist belief do. Like here, the Philippines. The natural disaster in the Philippines. Millions homeless. Thousands dead. And he says, don't help. Don't save the Philippines. Don't save the Filipinos from the wrath of the Lamb, the wrath of God. According to him, the destruction is part of the continual destruction of this earth by the force of God to eventually bring about the end of this earth and the creation of a, well, a paradise for the worthy. And guess what? Who should happen to be within that paradise? Oh yeah, according to him, himself, obviously, and those who think the same as him. What a surprise. But you know what? I don't think anyone who has any serious integrity or morality can really turn their back on millions in the name of a sect. Even if you don't believe in the same things as what other people believe in in other parts of the world, wherever a natural disaster happens to have happened, does not mean you should give up on your humanity, your integrity as a living, thinking being, and your understanding that we are all one humanity. We should try and care. We should try and cooperate. We should try and help out our fellow human beings. Whether you see us as merely being one species, or whether you see us as being a brotherhood of humanity, in any case, you should not allow a isolating religious view, a indoctrination, to prevent you from being a truly caring human being 